Well, I'm going to have to quote G.I. Joe. Knowing is half the battle. That's what these last two live videos are about. Once you're aware of what, what, what's occurring, this phenomenon, this, this, inter this exchange between you and reality, because it is, if you don't view, if you don't view your actions as commiserate to consequences in this reality, then you'll never create anything, anything. You just won't. You have accepted the fact that you live in a reactive mode and that the universe obeys principles that are separate from you and that you must obey and you, you just, you're, you're part of the herd. It's real simple. You've accepted that. Now, if you want to build, if you want to build things in your life, new experiences, you want to go, if you want to go by unexpected ways, if you want to meet new people, if you want to create new circumstances, if you want to build old relationships back that have died, if you want to do things that you wanted to do earlier in life but didn't because you raised a family, if you have many things that you have left undone but you want to do them now, all it takes is the desire to do it and then a follow-up action. Start moving in that direction the simulacrum will instantly start knitting new reality tunnels, hoping to corral you into, into something that will change your mind or another easy, easy control mechanism that it has. It's not going to expend any energy. Because remember, remember, it is subject to the law of conservation of energy. It's going to try to corral you into the next thing. The, ne the next thing that it's already corralled a bunch of people into. But if you keep moving in your own direction and not ones that are laid out before you, it's finally going to yield. It's going to separate the contagion from the masses, which is you, and it's going to surround you with all the things that you're looking for because that's that also is the law of conservation of energy. Do you understand? Do you really understand what I'm telling you? If you're causing a problem to the simulacrum by going your own way, your own thoughts, and you're following it through with your own deeds, it will induce you into other reality tunnels that are also popular. They just weren't known to you. But if you avoid all of them and only go in your direction with your focus, with your intent, with what you want to do, the simulacrum is not going to expend a tremendous amount of energy keep throwing out carrots. It's not. It's, gonna, it's so much less energy to go ahead and give you what you want. Give you what you want, surround you with the, what you want, bring you back into contact with the things that you want, bring the, 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 thing, the material blessings that you want, give it all to you, satisfy you, and by that satisfaction, it separates you from the herd. It separates you from the dungeon programming. Because to continue to fight you and to fight all the other people like Jason that live that type of lifestyle also, is too much. It doesn't have unlimited resources. That's why it creates dungeon programming. It's why it creates culture. It's why it creates nationalism. It's why it creates societies. It's to pigeonhole people in the collective so they will all do the same thing. Every day, every night, believe the same thing. Every day, every night. And as long as they are predictable, the simulacrum is not expending much energy. Becoming unpredictable expends a tremendous amount of energy. And if a whole bunch of people are doing it, then there's a problem. We're heading towards systemic collapse of the simulacrum itself. That is called an awakening event. So, are we going through a mass awakening? No. 